ओके ओके सो जस्ट अ सेकेंड हेलो या 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 टेल मी ओके सो सो आई विल बी अवेलेबल एट होम एट अराउंड इलेवन फोर्टी फाइव या या ओके ओके या थैंक्स बाय हेलो या सो नाउ विल go through an important theorem that is so so we discussed in the last class that given a nfa i can go to i can construct a dfa what does this mean this means that the language accepted by a nfa is same as language accepted by a dfa but what is this language accepted by a dfa this is nothing but a not regular language okay so i can say that the language accepted by a nfa is also regular okay now what about nfa with empty transition epsilon nfa can i construct a normal nfa from epsilon nfa and if that is possible then i can prove that the language accepted by epsilon nfa is same as language accepted by nfa which is nothing but regular understood so i need to i need to so the task is to simulate a nfa from epsilon nfa okay so how is how we'll do that can any guess suppose suppose i have a language l for a empty nfa okay so let it be so let the epsilon nfa be let the epsilon nfa is represented as a nfa is equal to q then we have delta you have a uh, yeah, sigma delta then you have a starting state q0 and final state f so how will you create a normal nfa from it that means how will you remove the empty transitions okay any guess so first set up states of a nfa so that is q dash nfa is equal to q epsilon nfa correct or not tell me so the new nfa will have a set up states as q dash nfa and this is uh so the original set of state is q q i i have represented it as q epsilon nfa so i can say that the number of states or the set of states is not going to change because what i need is just to remove the empty transition between the states i don't need to create any more states understood so i can say that the set of states for a for the newly created nfa is same as that of a epsilon nfa okay 
then similarly the alphabet set of the NFA will be same as alphabet set of the epsilon NFA okay and the starting state will also be same so I can say that Q0 NFA will also be Q0 epsilon NFA what will change is the transition function first okay so the transition function delta of the new NFA what it will be delta of NFA so what can happen so in a uh, suppose you are in state Q okay you have to go to state R in the newly uh, created NFA so how will that be possible so so in a in a empty uh, epsilon NFA you can do an empty transition first you can consume an input symbol A okay and you can uh, then uh, perform an empty transition to reach at a set of states okay so I can clearly say that so I so I can clearly say that delta NFA at a starting state Q with an input symbol A is equal to what it will be an extended transition function of the original empty NFA of Q comma A correct or not because you are simulating a NFA for uh, through epsilon NFA okay so so you have to reach to a set of states where the original state is Q how you can do it through an epsilon NFA you can first do an empty transition and reach at a set of states from there you can consume the input symbol and after consuming the input symbol you can perform again some empty transitions so this is nothing but the extended transition function with a starting state Q and input symbol A understood or not hello yeah okay so 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 I am telling you that uh, you are simulating a NFA through empty transition okay suppose in the newly created NFA you have to consume a symbol A when you are in state Q how you can do it through an epsilon NFA okay so through through an epsilon NFA what you can do you can first switch to uh, you can perform empty transitions to reach at a set of states from Q then from each of these set of states you can apply the transition function and consume the input symbol A and then those final those set of states you got through applying transition function you can again apply empty transition to reach at some set of states understood or not let me let me tell you so so from Q you can apply empty transitions and you can reach at states R1 R2 R3 for each of these states you can apply this transition function R1A of a epsilon NFA to set at suppose P1 it it is reaching at P2 it is reaching at P3 okay from P1 you can do an empty transition again and you can reach at suppose Q1 this you can reach at Q2 Q3 so so the entire thing is what this the entire thing is extended transition function from state Q comma A understood so that is why the newly 